the new world, so it's time to get a character. Uh, I need one that's equipped for the snow, meaning wearing a snowsuit. And uh, there's only one option here, but uh, luckily her stats look pretty good compared to the others anyhow. Here you've got the crafting interface, uh, where I wish I could uh, craft something, but unfortunately I don't have any raw gem dust or any raw gems, so one thing that we're going to do here is go out and try and find some. Here you've got the memory archive. Um, we've got a very little bit of a story here. Um, we've got two nodes of it unlocked. Uh, we can go out and find memory crystals that we can then redeem. We get experience points and we get more of the story. Size of frustration me coming in and interrupting Pablo's awesome music again. Uh, what I'm doing here though is I've come into an Ice Age office building and uh, we don't have any furniture in here yet and really the, the room uh, shapes are, there's only a few of them so far, Eric's working on doing a bunch more of those. What I'm specifically after here are magic and health potions which are going to be uh, really vital on my expedition to go find a raw gem vein and get something that I can craft with. So there's a lot of things that I've been doing here that I haven't fully explained. Uh, I'll leave you to, you know, look at most of those yourself, but uh, you may have noticed that I'm able to pull down the mini-map so that I can see better uh, what doors I've been in and which I haven't. Uh, I'm primarily navigating, though, by the little signs on the doors, which tell me uh, what's on the other side of each room. So I can see on this one that there's an atrium on the other side. Um, the ones with the little bombs on them are ones that have been destroyed. Um, this, this is a post-apocalyptic game, so there's a lot of rooms that have been destroyed. You saw me go into one earlier, and it was just a mess. Uh, this is the overall dungeon map, and uh, as you can see, it was absolutely enormous. Uh, thank goodness some of the rooms are destroyed, because these things are just gigantic, these buildings. Um, you're not expected to go exploring through so many uh, buildings, uh, at rooms in each building, but uh, you know, I guess you can if you want to. Um, more often than not, you'll be using the dungeon map, the region map, the mini map, and clues of other sorts to uh, strategically plot out your courses through buildings. Just go to places that actually matter and uh, you know pick up uh, whatever it is you're there for. In my case, I've just been looking for um, you know some basic health and magic potions, so that's nothing too challenging to find. there wouldn't be this backtracking of uh, coming back and forth through your home settlement. Uh, I really should have pressed onwards into this particular region and fought the first boss there and uh, once I had killed him then I could teleport back really quickly. Uh, the teleportation is not in place yet though as you'll find. Um, so now I've gone across the world map uh, and I've gotten caught in a windstorm, in this case a snowstorm. So now I'm looking I've built myself a wind shelter and escaped. If I come back in, 
The Sinistorp hasn't stopped yet. Using this wind shelter as a, a jump off point for doing a little bit of scouting. Every four moves, if I'm not on a wind shelter or a settlement, I'll get caught in a windstorm. So it's kind of like musical chairs in that regard. Um, now I'm going to come over here to this small town region. Uh, this is a ruined town, so this is uh, from, I think, the contemporary time period. Um, no NPCs are living here except for just maybe occasional refugees that you'll find. This is not uh, a settlement unlike my uh, place with all the tents that you saw at the start. So now I'm pressing onwards and I'm going to see uh, what I can find here. <laughs> basement. Uh, this has got just kind of a different sort of room structure even though we don't have that much in the way of variance of room structures yet um, you know, we're starting to, to build that out and um, you know you can really uh, see where this is headed at least uh, by the time we hit beta we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot more variants once we get furniture in here that's really going to change things up too in, in terms of how it looks but uh, what we've got right now is uh, a really detailed framework for building uh, buildings at a lot of different levels you can see the overall dungeon map structure here and uh, you can see where I am on the green node there and then uh, uh, everywhere on down to the tile sets, the room shape, what's in the room, types of rooms, um, types of, you know, how buildings fill each types of room, what does it mean to be a basement, well that varies by, you know, a warehouse or a, or a home. about these bats is that uh, I'm in a level 2 region but I am you can see my civilization level is still level 1 um, so that means that I'm playing up in difficulty that's part of why I got so many health potions um, you can do that and it will certainly uh, have an effect on the overall difficulty of the game I've basically turned up the difficulty by doing this and so I'm getting just swarmed by bats where I wouldn't normally um, so I found a granite outcrop, got some granite, granite out of that. Found a quartz out, outcrop, got some quartz out of that. That's great. Um, coming underground is a great place to find uh, you know, various uh, goodies. Um, since there's this little building here, and I know it's a single room building, I figured I'd check inside. I didn't realize I may have made a mistake, though. I jumped down in this hole hoping for gym veins, and look at the dungeon map there. This is just a surface tunnel. Uh, there's there's not any actual uh, passages further down into actual underground caves, underground dungeons. So what I'm going to do now is go in and build some wood platforms here and climb on out, which actually isn't as hard as it sounds, uh, as long as you don't let the bats distract you too much. Um, so going to climb on out and then uh, go over uh, two surface nodes to the left, and that will be where I'll find an underground cavern. that you can walk around in uh, has a distinct visual style um, so you've got some different buildings in each one here we've even got different uh, enemies I'm getting attacked by espers instead of bats now 
Um, and, uh, you know, the overall sky and, and uh, ground textures and stuff are the same within one region, but even that varies heavily between full regions. Uh, but you'll notice, you know, the fencing is different, and I've got different, uh, you know, telephone poles or not telephone poles, etc. There's uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 objects that we have built into the game already, and uh, we're going to be just really cranking those. Down here, uh, still in the surface tunnels. I haven't even gotten into the underground dungeon yet, which I'm still gonna go there because we still need the memory crystal. But um, normally, you won't find uh, raw gem veins like that right on the surface because, uh, uh, well, it's just too easy, isn't it? But uh, this is still in uh, pre, pre beta, and so we've got some things that are placed not quite like they will be even in beta. first underground dungeon, uh, you've seen the surface and you've seen interiors, you'll notice they all have a really distinctive uh, style and feel to them. Uh, here's my dungeon map for this particular underground cavern, and so I'm looking at the various types of nodes here and plotting out where it is that I want to go. I'm going to have to go through a boss room in order to get to the uh, major treasure that I'm looking for. and. Um, Underground is a little bit less linear than on uh, building interiors, it's all more organic. Uh, so trying to figure out which doors lead to where is a little bit uh, more tricky, but you know, using the map it's, it's not that bad at all. Uh, so now I'm one uh, cavern closer to where I'm actually headed, and uh, let's see if that was good. Nope, that one uh, took us in a wrong turn, so we're going back and we'll keep checking doors as we go to them. There's only four options, so it's not too big a deal. looking for so now it's time to get back to our settlement that we came from uh, now normally by defeating the boss that was in the prior room would have opened up a teleport uh, fast travel uh, 
portal basically and I could just go right back up into that one room and uh, zip right back to the beginning of this region and it's a quick hop skip and a jump across the world map because I've got a nice warm uh, excuse me not wormhole that'd be at war but rather wind shelter network to go through and um, that would be very quick I would be back in, inside 30 seconds to the first settlement Unfortunately, we haven't programmed that in yet because, you know, this isn't even beta yet. And uh, so instead, uh, what I'm doing at the moment is coming to this underground building here, which is very rusty, kind of freakish inside, and I'm picking up yet a few more uh, health potions, and in particular magic potions, and then I'm going to make the long trek back on the flight. It takes about six or seven minutes, I think. Um, I'm going to play that on fast forward so you can watch my uh, long trip to your movement. Because I said I wouldn't cut anything out, so I'm going to play it on super fast forward instead. <laughs> Basically, the experience you'll have in beta when the teleporters are in there. Now I'm heading back to the settlement and what we're actually going to find here is that I haven't researched the necessary technologies to get the new uh, spell scrolls. I can't craft anything here yet because I don't know any crafting recipes. So what I'm going to have to do is make a part two video and that will show uh, once we have the crafting books uh, then I'll actually be able to do an unlock. Now the reason why we didn't have that in there yet is because that hasn't been fully programmed in either. That's the nature of being pre-beta. If everything was fully in place, then we'd release it to you already. <laughs> uh, so now we are here at the uh, memory archive. We've turned in the memory crystal here and we get our third node in there so we can read more of the story that is fully working. We got our experience points for it. Uh, we're pretty close, about halfway anyway, to getting to Civ level 2. And everything's happy. And we'll see you again next time for part 2.